I don't know. Last time Gurudev told us continue to do some something. Uh, Suniti, can I share a little bit? Wonderful, Radhe. I think, yes, this is so deep desire that we share and more on a, on so a deep level to, of caring. And I have to apologize because before visiting India, almost every weekend I'm booking. So I may not attend this. Uh, unfortunately, I may not attend uh, this uh, Sangha. Maybe this uh, July and uh, August might be impossible because uh, I, I, I may travel, travel uh, some parts of Japan. So if I could fortunate, I could hear and attend. So I little bit feel very sorry for this. Today, I want to share uh, I want to share one thing is Sri Chaitanya Manobishtam. And also, it is said, Mahaprabhu taste Radha Baba. And then he tastes and distributes it. So, in this matter, I would like to share a little bit. Is this okay? <clears throat> At first, uh, what to do? Mm. At first, I want to chant Rupa Gosami's prayer. That prayer, mercy that reaches the form. This is actually coming from Uttakarika Bharati, verse 40. Katan idanna pi banchitun ni krishta. Spurutan ayan arhati jantu uttamaru ham. Guru lagu gana no jitarta nato. Jayati taran ataba kripa. Duty ban. Oh Lord and Queen of the distressed, the greatest, most qualified devotee desire your service. If even then this foreign soul desire it, then do not consider who is qualified or unqualified. All glory to the splendor of your mercy. <clears throat> Again, I read. Or actually, or under do you have uh, Uttarika Bharati 40? Yes, yes, we have. Okay, then could you lead the bus? <clears throat> then much better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now there are there. O Lord and Queen of the Distressed, the greatest. Most qualified devotees desire your service. 
if even then this fallen soul desires it, then do not consider who is qualified or unqualified. All glories to the splendor of your mercy. So this is very interesting. Because Rupa Goswami is the most qualified person. Because he is Nicha Siddha, Nicha Parikara. He is eternal Radha Dasi. But he's saying, this fallen soul desire it. Desire it means desire the service of Radha Mohan. Then do not consider who is qualified or unqualified. Because you are most merciful person. This is Rupa Goswami's prayer. And this <coughs> this is this purport is very very nice for Anantas Baba Maharaj. Could you read Andagaji? Could you read mm -hmm. this purple? Yes, yes. Dina Gamini Kripaha. Mercy that reaches the fallen. Marakanda Kana Vyakya. Commentary of Ananta Das Babuji. Transcendental revelations are the sport of the loving devotees. And when there is any delay in such a vision coming, mm -hmm. the devotee feels unlimited anxiety and pain mm. and the ocean of his humility increases so this is a very important point so rupa goswami pada is uh, he has a vision, but sometimes the desire of Lord immediately that vision disappear. Then the ocean of humility increases. Why sometimes Krishna disappear in front of the devotee? or in front of gopis and Radha, Sri Radha. Then more eagerness and more also humility increase. And then, please go on. Mm. In the previous verse, Sri Rupa attained the relish of a sweet and tasty pastime in a transcendental vision. And when this vision ends, he submits his prayer to the lotus feet of the Yugala that he may see this pastime again. Mm. Mm. When there is any delay in this vision, Sripad 
is immersed in an ocean of humility. May I share one? Sure. Rade, rade. This is also interesting point. He may see this past time again. This again is point. This utokari kabarari also, birapak smanjari also. Actually, they already have experience to get a vision. And then they want to see it again. So without seeing, not so much eagerness or desire come, but just he has already, he or she has already experienced. Of course, it's too tough. And of course, eagerness automatically come. But I, I want to share it my, uh, first. They already have experience to get vision. Then this eagerness come. Rade, rade. Mm. Again. This nectarian loving humility belongs to the original constitutional consciousness of the spirit soul. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this, this nectarian loving humility belong to original constitutional consciousness of the spirit. So this is very interesting. Go ahead. Could you say some more after about this? See, see, see. Yes, later on. Later, okay. The spirit soul is not an independent entity. Mm. It is always dependent on the supreme soul. <laughs> and in the conditioned state, it is also dependent on factors such as Time and karma. <laughs> In the conditioned state, the soul identifies himself with his different material coverings, the perishable body, and is bound by the conceptions of I and mine, does suffering the different miseries of material existence until he is enlightened by the saints and the spiritual master who make <coughs> this is realize that is eternally dependent on God and completely unable to control anything himself. Mm -hmm. So this is very nicely explained, the uh, essence of uh, Bhagavad Gita. Mm. And, uh, because uh, we are conditioned soul, we are always in bodily consciousness. And uh, we are thinking, I'm a doer. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and we are thinking, I can control everything. <laughs> <laughs> but the reality, 
We cannot do anything without the mercy of the Lord. So then, if we are fortunate, meet sadhu and spiritual or spiritual master, at that time we could realize actually we are not master. We are actually servant of the Lord. We are actually Lada Dasi. At that time, our suffering stopped. Mm. And we are fortunate enough we can enter the blissful ocean of Lhasa. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very interesting point. Then, then start. Ah, sorry, then, sorry. 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 Please go ahead. Go ahead. Ah. Then the fortunate soul is able to surrender himself to God in all respects. Mm. <laughs> Gradually, all his illusory identifications will disappear. And he will realize that God is the only doer in the creation. And thus, he reaches the state of liberation. Mm. <clears throat> Srila Rupa Goswami is an eternal associate of the Lord. So his surrender coming from, coming forth from his humility, humility is complete. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it means uh, Rupa Goswami is completely fully surrender. Then his humility is at most. He's so humble. Mm. Yeah, I remember one vision when Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami met Mahaprabhu first time. Both of them bited straws with teeth and just cross with neck, round cross with neck. It's like a very humble mood. Of course, other devotees also had a humble mood, but especially this scene in Chaitanya Charitamrita, just imagine this situation, how Rupa and Sanatana Gosami are humble in front of Goranga Mahaprabhu. And still this mood, Increase, incre increase. Then this prayer come. So we want to actually we we it's difficult, especially for me to become humble like this, unnecessary. But uh, just listen. Just I want to listen and test. And maybe a drop of this humility will come by mercy. Rupa, Rupa Goswami, Rupa Manjari's mercy, we may get some humbleness and surrender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Srila Rupa Goswami shows his heart's anxiety when he says, Oh Lord and Lady of the Distressed, Sri Radha Madhava. The Lord often purposefully <laughs> disappears from the devotees just to increase their love and eagerness for him. And he stays at a distance, witnessing the devotees' feelings of separation. <laughs> because Lada Mohan, they are tasting our feeling. <laughs> Lada, Lada Mohan does not like we are proud. We don't, uh, they don't like it. What well, Gurudev doesn't like it. So sometimes you gotta, Lada Mohan, disappear, disappear purposefully. <laughs> then our eagerness, our humbleness is increased more and more. Go ahead, Andakaji. This <coughs> e eager love in separation gradually causes the ecstatic feelings of the devotee to increase more and more. <laughs> Those pure devotees who worship Radha Mohan with their hearts filled with the greatest passionate attachment cannot remain complacent the Lord is always subdued by their love mm. whether in separation or in meeting Prema's one feature Prema could control Krishna otherwise we cannot nobody cannot control Krishna because Krishna is supreme lord but someone who has prema, loving ecstasy, loving feeling, he or she can control Krishna. Mm. So then, Prabhupada Nara Saraswati Pada is lighting Maladara Sastanidi, 149. Mm. Mm. O Radha and Madhava, Your devotional service is coveted by the greatest saints. Although the greatest saints may covet this, they cannot attain it. No one else but those who practice Sakhi and Manjari Bhava can attain it. This is a very interesting point. Many devotees, many great devotees, actually greatest saints, mm. desire the service of the Yugara show. Lada Mohan. But uh, they cannot attain. Why they cannot attain? 
because they don't follow the mood, feeling of Brajabasi or Brajagopi. So mm. then who can attain Saki and Manjari Baba? Someone who practice, someone who has, someone who follow Baba or Saki and Manjari Baba, they can attain it. Then 149, mm. this is very interesting. Mm. Mm. Hari, Hari, I have unlimitedly strong hopes to see the intimate pastimes of Radha and Madhupati Mohan that are not known even by demigods like Lord Brahma, by the devotees of the Lord Hari or by Govinda's friends and as a maidservant. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Only Radha Dasi. Hmm. Only Radha Dasi could see nectarian unlimited intimate pastime in Kunja, etc. Hmm. Manjari Bhava, the most intimate service of the divine pair, Sri Sri Radha Mohan, is the unprecedented merciful gift of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <laughs> Lord Gora personally relished it in his own manifest pastimes and he distributed it afterwards. So this is very, very interesting point. Mm -hmm. Only Radha Dashi could see or could join, actually could see intimate pastime of Radha Moha. Then, this Manjari Baba is unprecedented, unprecedented masculine gift of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Because before Mahaprabhu, Manjari Baba is not revealed to Anybody, practically speaking. Mahaprabhu brought this Baba. Because Krishna was, Krishna has, Krishna was in the Krishna Lila. Krishna was thinking, oh my God, I don't understand Radha's love. Or Radha's feeling, even I don't understand my, my attraction, my beauty, even I don't understand. How can I taste it? Then Mahaprabhu was thinking, oh, and Krishna is thinking, oh, I should steal Radha's feeling and Radha's kanti. Kara. Then Mahaprabhu, Krishna become Goranga Mahaprabhu. Then Mahaprabhu taste Radha's feeling, Radha's Baba. Then, this is interesting. Then distribute it afterwards. 
And then next birth is Chaitanya Charitamrita, Madhya Lila 281. Mm. Uh, yes, this one. Mm. He relished it himself and then taught his devotees. The Lord is the rich owner of the Chintamani jewel of love of God. And not considering who was qualified or unqualified, he distributed this love to everyone. Mahaprabhu is the crown jewel of donors. Yes, this is an interesting point. Before I was leading many times in this bus, then at that time I was thinking, oh, Mahaprabhu distributed Prema, love of Godhead. Be because Prabhupada wrote, Mahaprabhu distributed Prema, love of Godhead. That's true, but if we really think about it, What is the Chintamani jewel of love of Godhead? What is the Chintamani jewel? Actually, this one is Manjari Baba. Because, because Mahaprabhu desire, Mahaprabhu desire is to, to taste Radha's Baba. And then distribute it. But the problem is, we cannot become Radharani. Because we are tiny jiva. Radharani is Frani Shakti personified. How can we, our jiva can taste Radha's feeling? Because we cannot become Radha, then it is impossible. But one possibility is there. If we become Radha Dasi, if we serve like a shadow of Radha or internal connection with Radha, Radha's feeling Manjari is we are same. That time Manjari could feel Radha's feeling. So, Mahaprabhu, this Chintamani jewel of love of Godhead is, is my understanding of Manjari Baba. Not only love of Godhead, but actually this is Manjari Baba. Because Anandas Baba say, at first he tastes and distributes. And then amazing thing, this one. Mahaprabhu does not consider who is qualified, who is unqualified. Mahaprabhu distributes this love. This love is Chintamani jewel of love of God. This is Prema Chintamani. <laughs> in, 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 in this Sanskrit, Bengali does not mention Prema. No, Prema Chintamani. So this Mahaprabhu want to distribute this love to everyone. So therefore, Mahaprabhu is crown jewel of donors. Because nobody, nobody gave to this love before. 
But this incarnation, this Gauranga Mahaprabhu who want to distribute the highest love. Manjareva to everybody. He does not consider qualification. But one, one thing consider is greed. Someone wants or does not want. <laughs> if someone who wants, even like Gurudev, if we approach Gurudev, or oh, I want to this one, if, we, if you don't give me, I may die. Then he must give me Gurudev. But if we are not eager, Gurudev does not give. This is a very interesting point. Mm. He distributed the treasure of the ocean of confidential transcendental emotions mm. of which even Lord Brahma could not get even one drop. He distributed to the whole world. <laughs> there has never been such a merciful dissension of God or donor. Indeed, indeed, no one can describe his glories. Because th this is very interesting. This, this is uh, Kabiraj Goswami say, Gupta Baba, Gupta Baba. Gupta Baba, Gupta means hidden or very intimate Baba. Because nobody, nobody tell us this Baba, Manjari Baba before, nobody. So therefore this mentioned Gupta Baba. This mentioned, Sindh, Gupta Baba Sindh. Low Brahma, low Brahma. So, a uh, coward boy's leader, Krishna and coward boy, their leader, Brahma could see it. But still, Brahma could not understand what's going on. <laughs> so, Brahma has foolishly test Krishna. So, he was thinking, oh, let me steal. Krishna's cow, Krishna's coward boyfriends. They finally Brahma realized, oh my God, Lord Krishna is actually my master. I commit serious offense to him. So Brahma could not touch Gopi Baba, Saki Baba, Manjari Baba. So therefore it is mentioned. Lord Brahma desired, but uh, he could not get it. But Mahaprabhu, he distributed all over the world. Manjari Baba is Gupta Baba most intimate seva, most intimate feeling for Radha Rani, Radha Adik Sneha. This Baba is very, very rare. Prema Chintamani. But Mahaprabhu distributes to everybody. He does not consider qualifications. So therefore, 
Kabiraj Goswami said, I cannot describe his glory. It's difficult because this amazing, it is imposs- impossible for usually. But Mahaprabhu did so merciful. Therefore, Rupa Goswami said, Namo Maha Badanaya. Krishna Prema Pradayate. Why Nam, why Maha Badanaya? Because Mahaprabhu taste and distribute this Manjari Baba to everybody. This is really amazing thing. For example, for, for us, we are foreigners. I am Japanese, many people, Italian, you know, German, you know, American, or South American, you know, many different countries. In Vedic culture, we are, we are Murecha Yabana. We are outcast completely. So we cannot say uh, we are qualified. We cannot say. Most of the, most of us, we cannot say. Sad Maharaj may say, but we cannot say because we are foreigner. We, our culture is like a murecha yavana. But uh, Mahaprabhu want to distribute this prema chintamani, this manjari baba to everybody, even for our foreigner. Foreigner. This is amazing for me. This is a completely amazing thing. If we see, we check our qualification, we are born very low class family. We are accustomed to eat meat, fish, or drink liquor, etc. We are completely outcast. But Mahaprabhu or Mahaprabhu's devotee, like Sadhu Maharaj, Radha Gomindas Bhat Maharaj, Sadhu Maharaj, they are so kind. They don't consider who is qualified, who is not qualified. This is my, my I, feel, I feel this is really amazing. <laughs> So, yes. Uh, one thing come to my heart about this Chintamani jewel of love or love of God. Why this is Manjari Baba means love of God means uh, yeah, Yugara Prema, Prema Virata. What is then Chintamani jewel? The stone jewel to feel, feel desire. Manjari who feel this love of Godhead. That's why I feel definitely this Chintamani jewel of love of God means Manjari's. <laughs> <Rade, rade. laughs> so Radhika's name, Radhika's name. Radhika could fulfill all the desire of Krishna, Mohan. That, that's why name is, is, is Radhika. But Manjari could fulfill Radhika's desire or Mohan's desire. Chintamani means whatever thinking, whatever desire already Fulfill. Rather than feel, oh, today I should meet Mohan, but today is rainy. Mud is very muddy. I want to go, but difficult to go. Manjari said, no, Swamini, I can lead you. We, ha- we, we should go. Don't worry. I can take, I can take, don't worry. This one is thinking, oh my God, you are living 
Okay, you take me to Mohan. Yes, this is my job. <laughs> so this is in interesting. This is why chinta money. This is interesting. Not only not money, but chinta money. Whatever desire Radharani or whatever desire Mohan, Manjari could feel feel. This is very interesting. Jaira. Radhe Radhe. Yes. Radhe Radhe Jainanda Prabhu. Yes, uh, sure. One, one consideration when you said before uh, that uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was distributed the love of, for God uh, without discrimination. Okay, and this is desire of, of Krishna in the form uh, of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when he feels Brother Rani is feeling. Uh, so you said without discrimination, uh, but still I was uh, wondering before when you said that uh, if it's without discrimination, so how it's come that somebody get and somebody not. And after that you said uh, desire is important, important, big desire. So qualification is desire, but how this desire will come in the jivas? actually by the uh, uh, association with acharyas with the person who have already this manjari vow so manjari are necessary also to distribute chaitanya mahaprabhu mission even in this world in the spiritual world and even the here so no qualification but desire and desire who will give that so manjari or, or acharyas when we have some appreciation for acharyas for their words uh, desire start in our in in us, and this is the starting of the qualification. Even if we don't have qualification, yes. Therefore, this this uh, Anantas Baba describes interesting. Uh, this is uh, suffering the different misery of material existence until he is enlightened by the saints and the spiritual master. Mm -hmm. especially, especially this Manjari Baba, Raga Bhakti, uh, Bhakti Rasamita Sindhu say, we need, Raga, if we want to enter Raga Bhakti, we need the mercy of Raga Nuga Bhakti. If we want to Rupa Nuga Bhakta, Manjari Baba, we need the mercy who has Manjari Baba. Therefore, they need Babu is saying it's true. And also, Nita Nichananda open Namahata. It's marketplace of holy name. <laughs> He's distributing holy name, but one no price one price is i want it this is we need it i want manjai baba i want to holy name this is this is necessary <laughs> very nice point Yes, how, how to recognize the value of this product on the mer on the market marketplace? So, uh, marketing is making by manjaris. <laughs> yes, and also presence of sadhu, because uh, we are leading Chaitanya Charitamrita, and Mahaprabhu want to go to Brindavan. At that time. Uh, Mahaprabhu goes through Bengali. Bengali is a uh, Muslim Islam leader is there. So devotees are so much afraid to afraid. So Mahap Islam may disturb Mahaprabhu. So and then devotees send send uh, some person to to negotiate Islam government. At that time, 
Islam government also send some kind of duty, some kind of spy. And then they're watching Mahaprabhu's behavior. Then spy was recognized, oh, actually Mahaprabhu is not the ordinary person. He's Ishwara. Because whoever met, he become, start laughing, crying, and chanting holy name. So Islam government, uh, like Islam, Islamic uh, governor is completely shocked. Oh, I want to meet with this Mahaprabhu. Then this, he disguised as devotee, like kind of a Hindu. He met Mahaprabhu. Then after meeting Mahaprabhu, he started crying. He started chanting, holy name of the Lord. Then he became complete ecstasy. So if we are in, in that completely stai Baba and observing this Baba, then whoever meet that devotee and get some good feeling, this kind of Baba. So therefore, this darshan is very much necessary. Even Prabhupada Saraswati, at, at first, he has very bad feeling to Mahaprabhu because he's envious to Mahaprabhu. But after seeing Mahaprabhu, his mood is slowly, slowly change. And he get so much loving feeling with Mahaprabhu. And finally, he surrendered to Mahaprabhu. So therefore, best point is we try to, we try to fix our feeling. We try, we try to stay, stay Baba. And then we may, we may distribute, we may influence some, some people. <laughs> That's my feeling. Thank you, Jayananda. Huh. <clears throat> So I will read two last sentences, then continue. Yes. Then there has never been such a merciful dissension of God or donor. Indeed, no one can describe his glories. It is not to be discussed because no one would understand it. Such are the amazing pastimes of Lord Chaitanya. Anyone who has received Lord Chaitanya's mercy will understand it by associating with the servants of his servants. This is a very interesting point. Nobody would understand this Manjari Baba. But anyone who has received Lord Chaitanya mercy will understand it. Why? How? By associating with the servants of his servants. In other words, <laughs> by associating Dasi of Radha Dasi. That person may understand. 
、また、ジェネラリークリシナバクタ、ゼドアンダスタンド。<笑>クリシナバクタ、バイクンタバシー、ゼドアンダスタンド。Someone who ha- got the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gets mercy of Radha Dasi, Dasi of Radha Dasi. That person may understand.、Mm-hmm. So, therefore, we need association. <laughs> Radha Radha. So, here, Hoi Tara Dasanu Dasa Sanga Dasanu Dasa Sanga. So, in this, in this Zoom, someone is there, Dasanu Dasa. <laughs> Dasanu Dasa. Dasa. I want to see the face of Dasanu Dasa. <laughs> We need association. <laughs> Here, Sadhu Dasa no Dasa. Sadhu Dasa no Dasa. I want to see the face of Dasa no Dasa. <laughs> Try to make eager. <laughs> And so one thing c o m e to my harm to. Ah! Ah! Yes. <laughs> ah! Jai Guru Dev. Jai Guru Dev. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beautiful, very nice. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I, um, I would like to say about this Dasa and Dasa Sangha. When Mahaprabhu, after Mahaprabhu left his body, Ragnata Dasa Goswami went to, to Brindava. What did they do? This Dasa and Dasa Sangha. Actually, after Mahaprabhu left his body, Ragnata Dasa Goswami, I think, g e t his Manjari Baba more deeply. Of course, he's Nicha Sita, but Etana Savant, but Like this, Rupa Gosami also, Sanatana Gosami also. Gosami is what they were doing, this Dasa and Dasa Sangha. Means if we are, we want to become this, to follow La,、uh, Rupa Nuga Bhakti, we should continue this Dasa and Dasa Sangha. Even though Ragnata Dasa Gosami, Rupa Gosami, also Sanatana Gosami, Gosami is also doing the same way. Rade, rade. So actually, this Guru Dev, this Chaitanya Charitamrita,、eh, I think,、uh, Mahaprabhu's saying, I think, I think Chaitanya Charitamrita, アパネコリアスワダナシカイレバクタガネ。プレマチンタマニラプラブダニ。ナヒジャネスタナスタナヤレタラコイロダナ。マハプラブダタシロマニ。そう、いせ、マハプブレリッシュイッツ、レリッシュ。This Radha Baba, Manjari Baba, and then taught his devotee.、Yeah. His devotee is Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, Ragnata Das Goswami, etc. This is, it does not mentioned, but he taught his devotees through Rupa Shiksha, Sanatana Shiksha. Uh, Ramananda, uh, Sambad, and oh no,、uh, yeah, Ramananda, Sambad, and、uh, especially Laguna Das Goswami、uh, got the mercy of Mahaprabhu many ways. All they are living in the Sarup, 
Mm. And they are even in Rastasha, in the which are some they are, <coughs> they are living in the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in their sarup. And <coughs> by the mercy of Mahaprabhu, because he himself practiced and he realized it, so everything becomes so easy for other devotee who is in Dasanudas, who is totally surrendered to Mahaprabhu, they also realize in the front of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And they are living that way. And if you see the life of them, they are there in their sarupa with Manjari And this is the parampara what Prabhupada is talking of, on about the parampara. This is the line without realization, nobody can share it. And it will not go in the heart of others. So first we learn and realize it, and then we distribute, share to others. This is way of this power. And the moment this Sintamani dwell come in our life, Everything is there. It looks that I lose many things. I have to lose many things. But he not lose anything. He receives all this special mercy, who is rare to find in backwood house. Nothing. I have done this for her. So because of that, we not get the grief that this is the highest or not. Greed means when the mind fits that this is to do, that is the grief then no diversion happen in life. Greed is the other greed, then I am conditioned. And proportion of condition keeps us that way out. To develop the Running very good. And also, I want to little share one thing. Yeah. Everybody knows this bus, Sri Chaitanya Manobistam. Stapita Mena Bhutare, Swan Rupa Kadamaya, Yadati Swapana. What is Sri Chaitanya Manobhishta? <laughs> this is a very interesting point. 
エクスターナリー、マハパブトールド、ルーパーサナタナ、ゴートブリンダーバン、ファインダウト、ラーダモハンズパースタイムプレイス、and then, ロート、ベーディックリタリチャー、バクティシャストラ、プリーズ、ライト、This is, we may consider, this is Mahaprabhu's Manobhishta. But I feel this is external. Internal, internal Manobhishta is, is sharing, distributing this Prema Chintana. Yeah. Jari Baba. This is that, my feel. That is the point. That is the point. That is the point. That is the point. This comes, everything comes. One day, morning time, we are discussing. You say that Mahaprabhu is here.、Mm -hmm. Mantra. Vishwarapuri. That was what we are doing is not that. It's a different. That time, heart not accept, but slowly, slowly I start living in this mantra. And then I see that what is means Gopi? Gopi means expansion of Radhika. And what is the Radhika's feeling that Gopi has to come? If the Radhika's feelings are not there, it's not Gopi. So, if Radhika loves Krishna, so Gopi also loves Krishna. He d o n t know more than that. So, the Gopi Bhav is Krishna goal. Because they are all e x p a n s i o n of Radharani. Sky v i e w Our mercy、yeah. and Taranga Sakti mercy, then go to our happen. So, this way, how it's p r e c i o u s is Manjari, how you can realize it. Gopi, how is easy, natural. For Jiva,、mm. soul as a super soul to see and Radhika's understanding. But at the same time, Mahaprabhu gives more special Jinta money. That's the root cause. Gopi is our good. Sakis are good, but higher than this, more, something more good. That is c h i n t a And not like this, he realizes it, he's practicing it. Like you are practicing, 
and you are sharing that. So it goes in the heart of everyone. That is the speciality of Jananda Maharaj. Radhe, Radhe. No, by your mercy, Gurudev. Whatever I come to my heart, this is by your mercy. And go to the beach. This is the great man. So more say. Now so long time beautiful subject. Read more. Okay, and the little. Sri Rupa Goswami humbly says. I am such a low fool that I look as ridiculous as a beggar asking for a kingdom when I'm begging you for your loving service. Wow. wow. So humble. So. <laughs> Greatness. That we have to prevent this will humbleness will come in our life. Yeah. Still the ornaments gifted by Swami. When she gave art, then she marked with the humbleness. This is her ornaments. What Manjari is putting to her decoration? Radhe, Radhe, I want to share something. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, Jayananda Maharaj. So, nectar is flowing again <laughs> by your association. So, today we listen that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he don't consider someone qualified or not qualified. He want to give prema to everyone. So why is that? Why he don't consider who is qualified and not qualified? And what is so astonishing in this most merciful dissension of Godhead? It is because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is most humble. It's in the mood of Radharani. And Radharani is the most humble person. She considers everyone more qualified than herself. Ah. When she is in separation from Krishna, she thinks of Yashoda that she can serve Krishna all day long. Mm -hmm. And the friends can serve him, being with him together. But when Radharani get chance to serve him, oh. even the clouds serving Krishna better than her, mm -hmm. because they always give the shadow. When Krishna is walking in the hot sand, So it is no surprise that Mahaprabhu want to give that prem to everyone because he considers, he cannot consider qualified or not qualified. From his mood and feeling, everyone is more qualified than him because he is most humble. Um. Oh, yeah, I can 
and the Chintamani that he is the owner of. That are the Dasa Nudasas, that are the Dasis of Radharani. Everyone who getting in contact with the Dasi of Radharani will also get this Manjari Bhav. Wow. Gurudev, thank you. Everything is flowing. Yeah, Gurudev. I have, I don't know this before, just coming by your mercy, Gurudev. This is only mercy. So you see, Radha Govindas Baba Ji Maharaj. And actually, if humbleness increases more and more, and humbleness reaches the topmost point, this is called prema. Surprising. Topmost humbleness means prema. There's no wisp of false ego anymore, so love can flow. So the real astonishing thing is that the great God, the creator of everything, is ready to make himself more humble than everyone else. Mm. That is really astonishing. And I think only the Dasis of Radharani, they can really understand and appreciate the gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yeah. What is his mood? Yeah. Radhe, thank you so much. Beautiful. Um, Dark. I needed yeah. to share, Gurudev. I'm, I don't want to show, I want to hide, but you inspire me to share, Gurudev. Yeah. Still, I know that you are so merciful that you don't distinguish between qualified and unqualified candidates. And therefore, I cannot give up hoping the splendor of your compassion shines supremely and i am looking out for that supreme mercy I want to become your maid servant. Know all the desires on your hearts and serve you accordingly with love. Srila Rupa Goswami offers the following prayers to Srimati Radharani for this loving service in his Chatu 
u Španđali. O goddess, the lake of whose heart is filled with a flood of mercy, please be kind to this person who yearns to attain your service. When will I see the sweet, sweetly flattering Prince of Raj beg for your mercy when you are angry with him and you bestowing that mercy on him with a sidelong glance. <laughs> when, as artistic Mohan beautifully decorates you with Madhavi flowers, and you begin to perspire of ecstatic love from being touched by his hand. When will I fan you with a palm leaf fan? Oh, beautiful girl, when will you order this person to rearrange your curly locks of hair? Now disarrayed because of your amorous pastimes? Oh, girl with the cherry lips, when will I see the Prince of Raj snatching away and enjoying the betel nuts that I place in your lotus-like mouth? In this way, Sri Rupa Goswami prays for the mercy of his beloved deities completely forgetting whether he is qualified or not as he becomes absorbed in the sweetness of their mercy. O Lord of the distressed Krishna, Srimati Radike, this wretch prays at your lotus feet. Your service is coveted by the greatest devotees. Is this fallen soul then qualified for it? Your compassion does not take qualification or disqualification into account. Therefore, this aspiration has arisen in my heart, in my mind. Mm. Explain nice. Then and then. Yes. Explain. Explain. Um. 
So, Radha, so Gora Chandra Pabu explain. Radha Rani is so masterful. He was, she was thinking, I'm lowest, and other is more higher. Like Paramahansa also, Paramahansa, our Gurudev also thinking like this. Oh, I'm lowest, other is more higher than me. This is the nature of Paramahansa. This is nature of Radharani, actually. And Mahaprabhu has, was a, Krishna still the mood of Radharani, still the heart, still the feeling of Radharani. So Mahaprabhu has naturally his Radha's feeling. He has Radha's feeling. So he's so compassionate. So therefore, he does not care who is qualified, who is unqualified. Because the nature of Radharani. Like mother. mother. Mother does not care who is qualified, who is not qualified. Father may think like this. But the mother does not think like this. Mother thinking, oh, this is the most, mother loves the most unqualified person. <laughs> like if, if children has very weak or always disease, the mother take care that person, weak child or very, what do you say, diseased child. So therefore, we are, we are some hope. We think we are very forum. We are forum. But if Mahaprabhu has nature of Radharani, like a very merciful universal mother, then we have some hope. Narutama Das could say, Oh Mahaprabhu, please save me first because I'm most foreign person, foreign condition soul. If you save me first, then your fame spread all over the universe. Wow. <laughs> if you don't save me, then your fame will be defamed. This is like Naruto Dust, like this. So this is we are some hope because Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu is Namo Mahabadanaya. Krishna Prema Pradaya. So therefore, we need the mercy of Mahaprabhu. To get mercy of Mahaprabhu, we need the mercy of Nitai. Because if Nitai told Mahaprabhu, then Mahaprabhu has to say, yes, yes, Nitai. Okay, I'll accept. If Nichananda, ah. if Nichananda in, introduced somebody to Mahaprabhu, then Mahaprabhu has to accept. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll accept. If Rupa Goswami introduces some dasi, new dasi, to, to Shrimati Radharani, and Radharani asking, who is this new, new Manjari? Who is new Saki? Then Mahaprabhu, then Rupa, Rupa Manjari said, Oh, this person is a very good person. Come from Manjurari Manjari. This lady, this girl is so nice. Please accept it. Rupa Manjari said to Radharani. Wow. Yes, 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 yes. I'll accept. Because wow. Manjurari Manjari, I love her. Whoever introduces, whoever introduces me, 
from Manjurari, I, I must accept. This Radharan is mood. So therefore, we need the mercy of Guru Manjari. So please introduce us to Rupa Manjari or Shirimati Radhika. The, the, the mercy of Guru Manjari, Guru Dev, we have some hope. So therefore, we, we, we must pray the mercy of our Guru Dev and all Vaishnava devotees. Please give me the mercy so that I can, I can advance. I can be that's your brother. Now finish Guru Dev. Yes. So, so Andagaji, could you read again this bus this bus sentence? Katan mm -hmm. O mm -hmm. oh Lord and Queen of the Distressed. the greatest, most qualified devotees desire your service. If even then this fallen soul desires it, then do not consider who is qualified or unqualified. All glories to the splendor of your mercy. This is interesting. This is all glory, the splendor of your mercy. Wow. This is duty. Duty. <laughs> duty is a kind of color. Also, <laughs> this is interesting. Radhe, Radhe. I just uh, want to say, actually, we are talking about mercy all the time. And we are always surrounded by mercy. We just need to see it. We need to be focused, one-pointed, to see that we are always surrounded by mercy. Like, today I was walking in the forest in the morning and uh, I went early so I was alone there nobody there and just birds stream and I started to think how Prabhupada Saraswati was saying in uh, Radharasa Sudhanidi how he's giving obeisances to any direction from when from where Radhika will come and as I was walking in, the, in, in this manner, this made me feel connected and made me feel the mercy that Radhika is actually everywhere also. And in the same time, uh, you know, uh, walking with expectations that she will appear behind the corner, you know, behind the tree. And uh, this made me think uh, that Bhakti is not a destination. It's like never-ending journey of love that we can live 
this and feel the mercy and live in this mercy all the time. All is about the focus. Where is our focus? I know I many times my focus is on business, on work, on this and that, problems, you know. But when I get focused on Radhika, actually everything becomes so much easier because my focus is there where I want to be, with Radhika, you know. And so, so in a way, it is just our focus. Where the focus goes, energy flows. Yeah. It is yes. where, right? where do we want to put our energy? Focus go, energy goes. Yes. Where the focus goes, energy flows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, to careful that my focus should be one point. Yes. Yes. So this helped me in the morning when I was uh, walking in the forest, thinking, actually, I was first thinking, like, now I'm in the forest of Vrindavana, you know? Like, and uh, then came all those things that uh, to pay obeisances to any direction from when Radhika will come. So it was really interesting. <laughs> wow. Wow. But we can always be... <clears throat> in this meditation, in any situation, just our focus needs to be there. And then, <laughs> and then that place also become Brindavan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Brindavan is not the physical just place. It's the, uh, how to say, state of our mind and heart. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. Wow, beautiful. Beautiful. Maybe somebody can share. Everybody have their experience because today is Wednesday, so Wednesday is sharing time. <laughs> yes, true. <laughs> somebody more can share something their experience with, with Kripa, with mercy. Yes, I want to share yeah. a very small experience in my first week in Birkenfeld. <laughs> By Suniti and Gaura, I was very, very deep blessed with the com community. And uh, I have the same experience as you. I have not so much uh, forest here in Birkenfeld, <laughs> but it is also like a, I like I, I walk in Vrindavan. I've, it's it's so wandering and pleasant for me. Never ever have mixed experience. Uh, yeah, the first time in Vrindavan, really physical in this December. I was very deep blessed. Good day for the deep love and wonderful two weeks for me. It's a whole life, these two weeks in Vrindavan. And now I'm in Birkenfeld. <laughs> I'm so wondering what happened. <laughs> and it's like every step in this new process for me. So like Vrindavan, I have, I'm so thankful for all your, each one and Gurdiv also and Tia Gaura and Suniti and Sumati and and Mamohan also a few we grow up more and more. Maybe it come more here. I'm so lucky. And thank you for this sharing time also. Love, I love you all. I love Gurudev. Jai Sri Gurudev. Yes. Jai Sri Radha. <laughs>
somebody else would like to share. So if there's no one, so I would like to share short about this forest story. Thank you for inspiring me. Means when we go forest alone, we can see trees, we can see birds, but just surface. But with navigator, with guide, it's a different experience. Forest guide can see forest nicely, like uh, some footstep of some animals. Normally we cannot see, but this forest guide can see, oh, this is fox. And uh, forest guide listen, chup chup sound. Oh, this bird name is like this. And forest guide see. Ah, uh, this bird will come here, you see here, then bird will definitely come like this. With guide, we can see forest more deep. That's why, especially this Rupanuga Bhakti, hidden path devotion, we need a guide to see what is as but as it is. Rade, rade. This forest is Brindavan forest. <laughs> yes, actually, we need to know to recognize something, you know. Like uh, also today, and I was walking, I saw in the forest something i was not sure what was that it was a mushroom or something was deep in the forest like it was sham color and i was thinking i remembered krishna and then i said okay if krishna is here probably radhika is here somewhere <laughs> you know like that so <laughs> in a way we know this that radha and krishna are never separated actually except for the lila so uh, she must be near. If we see Shyam color, uh, must be uh, Gora color <laughs> near. So Gori Radik. Yeah, and definitely our guys are Gurudev, Param Gurudev, Rupa Goswami, Anantas Babaji. You know, they're all our guys leading us actually taking us by by hand even if we are not aware that we are guided by hand many times uh, we think like in the beginning of the day was thought that nothing happens without uh, krishna's consent and Radhika's consent you know and um, we are thinking sometimes we are doing we are doing something and in the end, after some time, we understand that we were guided, you know, that we were guided to, to do something, to act in some way. Even if in that moment, that way was, let's say, let's say wrong, but it wasn't wrong because it led us to learn something, to get new realizations that will bring us one step closer to our true life as manjaris so in a way if we are surrendered to radhika and her guidance which is always present we just need to be open we shouldn't be afraid never afraid you know so this This is this is one one interesting story. One more uh, situation that happened recently when we went to uh, seaside 
and we went to the La Bangalatica's place on the island. After we came from the ship with the car, uh, if you have bad navigation, you have a problem, or without navigation, you are in problem. <laughs> and uh, my navigation showed me that I need to go right instead of left. So, okay, I followed the navigation and quickly I found out I came to some place where it was actually strange roads and very dangerous roads. And, okay, I understood this must be something wrong. So then I turned around and went back. And then navigation showed the correct way. But the point was that because I didn't go at the, uh, at the same time, and I was going around, not following the guidance of my navigator correctly, uh, I had problem. Afterwards also, it was more difficult because we had situations on the road that, that uh, we were driving in the night and there were so many sheep on the road always. And sheep have the color of the road. So you need to be very careful not to hit any sheep, you know, because and I was very tired already, so I told Mahababa, you are my eyes, <laughs> because she have eyes to, to, to notice details, small details, you know, and how she could notice just with the eyes glowing in the dark, you know, <laughs> so this was really interesting. But the point is, the point is, our navigators, as, uh, like our good dad, uh, we, we should listen. We should listen and try to understand where the navigation is pointing. Sometime, I mean, we all went through this, sometime we can be confused with the navigation. But I think the most important thing is to never be afraid to ask for clarification if needed because we want to reach our destination. I mean, we want to uh, be, I mean, realize or wake, uh, awake our Swaru. So we need to follow the na navigator, I mean, uh, navigator instructions, <laughs> you know? So this was one more situation we after talked about it. So <laughs> we came to this conclusion that this also shows us uh, one great lesson for spiritual life. Uh, this is the point. Uh, we can always see if we are focused, we can see that Radhika's uh, guidance is everywhere, even in common situations, if we are focused to see. So the focus again. Thank you. <laughs> I want a little, a little thing came in my mind when you say this. Uh, this is the point I feel like a so little child now with two days. And always I have only make my Diksha mantras and all other things happened and it's so wonderful for me to be nothing to understand and i have many years following of philosophy difficult <laughs> strong theories and spiritual lives and this and this and this was also good what wonderful but now i feel like a little child it's so wonderful i never ever i can do any mystic i think so but Clearly, I hang on the rock with Guru Dev and all, always I, I must keep strong and, and Guru Dev's clothes and arms and heart. <laughs> it is so wonderful for me. That's, uh, I like it to share it also with and the people want or not want, I share it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Like a little child, it's so wonderful for me. <laughs> so 
So I like uh, that uh, Gurudev is telling us that actually he is the navigator because this is the really correct way to explain the role of Gurudev actually navigating us towards Radhika. Because there are many roads, so <laughs> to be to stay one point and we need navigation sometimes. Yeah, very often actually. <laughs> Yeah, somebody else have some something to share with me. Rade, Rade, I want to share something more mm -hmm. about the mercy. I think there are different levels how we perceive us in this world and how we perceive the mercy. So at the beginning, maybe we are atheist, we don't believe in anything, we are desperate, alone in this big universe, like no faith, no hope, no love, no God, like Gurudev always explained. So then we learn some philosophy, we understand we are soul, and we are always connected with super soul, and the soul is doing nothing, Everything is done by the material energy and we are always guided and everything happens to us according to our karma and if we do good things, then we will get good result. So we learn to trust and we learn to believe in the guidance. But then Raga Bhakti after, when the feelings become intense of separation, then again this world becomes a desert. The feelings, they become so intense that the devotee think, I cannot survive anymore without the direct darshan, without direct service of my Swamini. Okay, I can go in the forest and I can see the green and I can think, oh, Radha and Krishna, they are always mixed. So blue and yellow become green. I can see the mercy in my circumstances, in my life, with my situation and partner, and everything is favorable when you start bhakti. Everything turning in good direction. And we can see the mercy everywhere, but when the feelings of a devotee becomes so intense, then this world again becomes little dark because I don't want to see the mercy in the outside world. It's not enough. I feel so much separation now. I need darshan. I need direct service. So I think there are different levels of how we pray for mercy also. If Gurudev praying for mercy means he want direct darshan, he want to serve in his swarup. So, yeah, I hope I can could explain that there are different levels of feelings also to see the mercy. So the devotee, they think they have no mercy when they don't have direct service in their swarup. Then they cry for mercy. <laughs> but we, I and my level, yes, I should practice to see the mercy everywhere in my circumstances, how my life moving in good direction now. But I think later, when bhajan become intense, then we cry really for mercy of darshan and service. Rade, rade.
。Thank you very much. <laughs> so time fly very fast. So we can meet soon, Friday, Saturday, Sunday program also. Thank you so much. Jai Guru Dev. Jai Shri Ram. Jai Guru Dev. You are very right. Time goes very fast. We have to use this time. Every moment of our life, one point at once. Ram Tehran. 